a quarter of a million people in the city square in Klitschko's home city of Kiev. Huge, huge man who's built like a tower block. now based in Hamburg and with some 600 fans here to support him as well they call him Iron Fist and that's because he's dispatched all 24 of his opponents inside six rounds but you have to question the standard of the opposition most old or weak apart from a couple of low-key European title triumphs and the win over British champion Julius Francis in two rounds but he is a big, big puncher with the right hand and represents a pretty massive threat, I'd say, to Herbie Hyde. Yes, he does. I mean, he looks straight out of a Rocky movie, doesn't he? He is a very, very big man, an imposing sight. Excellent power, 24 kill wins in 24 fights. But the doubt there is just what you like when a good fighter hits him on the chin. That's what we've got to see, yes. That's right. It's a big step up in class for him. How will he cope with it? And now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, from Norwich, England, uh, the WBO heavyweight champion of the world, uh, Herbie Siren sounding a warning for Hyde himself or for Klitschko. The enigmatic Herbie Hyde, who may be the quickest heavyweight since Muhammad Ali, but he's in need of brushing up his credibility with the world boxing public. This is a fellow who's fought only six rounds in the last three years. More like Hermit Hyde, Glenn. Yes, he is. I mean, he's just been so inactive. That's the, the doubt you've got to have against him. He is immensely talented, very, very quick, punches so hard and really could have been or could be such a big, big name in, in heavyweight boxing, but so erratic. Just that, that, that personality that just doesn't quite fit in, but there's no doubt in his talent. Erratic, volatile, and his mood in the build-up to this fight prickly. To put it mildly, you saw the attack on fellow boxer Danny Williams earlier on in the program and came at the last press conference. Is he properly fired up or are those distress signals? Is he, as Barry McGuigan suggested earlier, frightened about the task in hand? Here's the tail of the tape for this fascinating fight, the biggest fight Herbie Hyde has had since his loss to Riddick Bell, I would suggest. Same age, Klitschko actually is a bit older. Height, Klitschko, huge advantages in reach and height. Weight, Klitschko, nearly two stone heavier. These are big disadvantages, but Hyde is so much quicker, and that might be important too. Hyde's been a pro now for 10 years. That is surprising. He's got a 93% knockout rate. Klitschko's on 100%. Hyde has mixed in slightly the better company, I would suggest, though. Only 55 rounds for the Ukrainians. It's a slender experience, really. Hyde has never gone beyond 10 rounds, and Klitschko has never gone beyond 6 rounds. Hyde is in his sixth world title fight tonight. It's the first for Klitschko. The bookmakers make Herbie Hyde the favorite for this fight. 5-2 to two on with most bookmakers. 7-4 to four against you can get with Klitschko. I did see 5-2 to two with one firm this morning. The draw is 50 to 1. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is sanctioned and conducted under the rules of the World Boxing Organization. 
and the officials appointed by the body are as follows. The supervisor in charge this evening, their president, Mr. Francesco Valcasel. The supervisor and representative for the British Boxing Board of Control, their president, Mr. Leonard Nipper Reed, QPM. The timekeeper this evening, Mr. Bob Edgeworth from Bromley in Kent. And the judges at ringside, Mr. Ruel Kayez from California, Mr. Harold Letterman from Orangeburg in New York State, and Mr. John Stewart from New Jersey in the USA. And the man in charge of the action this evening, our referee, officiating in his 40th World Title Contest from Chicago, Mr. Gino Rodriguez. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, on uh, Sky Sports across Britain and around Europe, from the London Arena in East London, Stocklands, it's Big Fight Time! <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, sponsored by For Expo Mining, Frank Warren is proud to present tonight's main event for Queen and Country for the WBO Heavyweight Championship of the World over 12 three-minute rounds and introducing the boxers. And firstly, fighting out of the red corner, he's formerly from Kiev in the Ukraine and now fights from Germany. He wears the blue trunks trimmed with gold and weighed in at 17 stone, seven and three quarter pounds. As a professional, he holds a perfect record. 24 fights, 24 wins, 24 big knockouts. He's the former undefeated European heavyweight champion and WBC international heavyweight champion and the official WBO number one challenger for the title. The challenger tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Vitaly Ironfist Kolechko. And across the ring, ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, wearing the white trunks, trimmed with red, he comes from Norwich in England, and weighing yesterday at 15 stone, 11 pounds. He holds a 32 fight professional record, 31 wins, 30 wins by way of the big knockout, with just one loss. He's the former undefeated British and the current WBO heavyweight champion of the world, making the third defense of his title tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, England's pride, Herbie Hyde. <laughs> Referee Mr. Gino Rodriguez will now give instructions to both boxers. Gentlemen, remember your instructions. I want you to wave my command at all times, protect yourself at all times, and good luck. 12 three minute rounds for the WBO Heavyweight Championship of the World. And this is not a good time to go and make the tee because Hyde has won 20 times inside the first three rounds and so has Klitschko. Big punches, both of them. It might be quick, it might be explosive as well. Hyde, who's boxed so rarely in recent years. Not enough, he's been overtaken by other pretenders for the big lead. Klitschko, his first really big test, although he has held the European title in the past. What tactics will Hyde employ? And you can see with the two of them together there, the massive difference in size. But Hyde is very quick. Did beat a big man in Tony Tucker in two rounds, a very old, 39-year-old Tony Tucker. But when he fought Riddick Bowe and was giving away about two stone, he was knocked all around the ring eventually and was on the floor seven times. So what happens? Well, the difficulty here for Hyde is to get in close. This is very big man, very tall, long arms. So Hyde's got to use that speed to get close to him, to get inside and let loose the, the fast combinations. Klitschko with massive support, both in Germany and his native Ukraine. Is this his breakthrough night? Or does Hyde project himself forward 
and inspire talk of a showdown maybe with Lennox Lewis sometime next year. Expect Hyde to try to dart in and out, use his speed, get off fast combinations and then get away again. That should be the strategy, you would think. Not stand in front of Klitschko to let him unload that big right hand we've heard so much about. Hyde's a fighter that needs that belief and that confidence in himself. He likes to be on top. He's a, what they call a front foot fighter. And really, Klitschko's got to try and exert some pressure to him early. The other thing we don't know about is Klitschko's chin. He's never really been asked too many serious questions before now. And Hyde has underrated power. It is 31 wins, 30 have come early. Even though he's a heavyweight of about Tyson Holyfield type stature. Fast hands there. And he was away again before Klitschko could find an answer. He can be a bewildering man to fight high when he's bang in form as he was the night he first won this title in East London against Michael Bent down at Millwall. That was an electrifying display from him. Well, Hyde's trying to lunge in and get those punches off, just falling short as yet, but that's a, an awful long way he has to get. Klitschko lands for the first time significantly with the left hand. Just made Hyde give ground for a space or two. Just wonder how Hyde can cope with Klitschko's power. If he's hit by this big man, they do look like fighters from different weight divisions. A lot of missed punches here, they're both falling short, very even round. Welcome back to the London Arena for this fascinating WBO heavyweight title fight. Action from round one, Herbie Hyde and Vitaly Iron Fist, Klitschko as they call it. Well, neither one really connecting, just falling short. Obviously there's a, a lot of nerves in there from both of them. Hyde being very inactive, he needs to settle and get into this fight. Hyde in the white trunks, and just to show you how inactive he's been, he's fought only five rounds during the entire duration of Klitschko's career. And really, it doesn't matter how much sparring you get, it's no substitute for, for actual fighting. Hyde has the reputation of being vicious with his sparring partners, he almost bullies them. But that's his way of preparing, his way of boosting his confidence, he's very hard on them. Now Klitschko gets it with the right hand and he's got Hyde down in the second round. First time he landed with it, that jumping right, and this could be problems for Herbie Hyde. First time he felt the power, and he's down. Oh dear. What happens if Klitschko can find another one of those? It's early in the round two. How's Hyde going to react now, Ian? What's going to be going through his mind? He knows he can be hurt with that right hand. Well, I was waiting for that to happen and waiting to see how Herbie would cope with it. It wasn't a bad knockdown. He wasn't really badly dazed. But he was on the floor. And that may do plenty to erode his confidence. Which goes looking for another one and finds it. Oh dear, and this time it is, he's looking his eyes. This could be over in the second round. I'm not sure Herbie Hyde is going to make this. Oh, he's all over the place. It is stopped in round two. Vitaly Klitschko wins the WBO heavyweight title and Herbie Hyde's world falls apart. Well, I'm sure Kiev has just erupted with noise. He'll be a hero there tonight. He just had too much power. Now, I did all week have thoughts about what had happened in the Riddick Bow fight when he was giving away a similar amount of weight and remembering how Bow kept putting him on the canvas seven times and he, he just can't give away that kind of weight. No, that's, that's always the crunch. It's you're a good big man, a good small one. It, it always goes. The big one will, will get through. We didn't know how good Klitschko was. We know now, we certainly know. He has a big power in that right hand.
Well, he really is a big, lethal hitter, this man Mountain. Whack! There were two of them. The second one poleaxed him. Yes, that did all the, the damage. Big right hands. They said that was the punch that they, you had to watch. He was very solid with that. Hurt Hyde. Desperately there. And Klitschko becomes the first East European to hold any version of the World Heavyweight title. It may be the less regarded WBO version, but try telling that to all those people in the city square in Kiev tonight, quarter of a million of them. Well, that's the final shot. It just seemed to glance by the chin, but he was never going to recover from that punch. The first knockdown he got up from OK. The second one, you could just see his eyes swimming and you knew there was no way back. Well, Herbie Hyde's pretensions to get into the same ring as the Holyfields and Lewis's have been blown apart here by this Ukrainian. Iron 